So welcome to Photoshop. So today we're going to be going over vanishing point and how to replace this picture in this image. Now the problem is, if you notice, this, is, this line is not straight. This is shot at an angle. So this part of the wall is bigger and this is smaller. So we need to do the same thing with the image. And the way you do that is with vanishing point. So the first thing uh, I notice I have a new layer. I'll delete it just so you can see. I'm going to create a new layer. And then I'm going to go over. I've got my image that we're going to replace it with. We're going to change the size because I think it's too big. We'll try 800 pixels and hit OK. And then I'm going to hit Command A for select all. And Command uh, C, sorry about that. C for copy. And then we're going to go into our image and go to vanishing point. And then I'm going to zoom in. So we can kind of see what we're doing, holding spacebar to move that down. And then I need to set my four corner points, meaning here, 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 and there. So I'm just going to go ahead and click and drag to set those four points. And don't worry, if you don't get them right, you can go back in and adjust this. So right now it's yellow. It's, it doesn't think I did it correctly. So we need to move this and adjust it until we get blue. All right, so now you see that we've set blue. It thinks the points are all correct. I'm going to click outside of here to deselect that. I'm going to hit Command minus just to zoom out. Now I'm going to hit Command V, and that is going to paste our image in. And I'm not sure why I didn't do that, but it's not. So we're going to hit OK. Go back here. Select all. Copy. Go back here, back to vanishing point. It still has our things selected. We'll click out, hit Command V, and there we go. It's pasted our image. So we're going to just drag this over into here, and you can see it's creating that perspective. So if I want to adjust this image here, I can click on this Transform button and hold down Shift and reduce the size. Might have to do this a couple times. That's better. It's pretty good. And then I can kind of just set that in there how I want it. And I think it needs to be a little bit bigger. And there we go. I can go ahead and hit OK. And notice our image has been perfectly um, aligned and adjusted to fit that perspective. And because we did that on its own separate layer, we could easily turn that on and off if we wanted. Now, if I wanted to keep that black border, all I would have to do was when I selected the vanishing point, just do that slightly inside that black frame, and then I could keep that black frame on there. But that is how you use sort of a perspective control inside Vanishing Point um, to replace an image. So hopefully that was helpful. If you have any comments or questions, you can leave those below. And don't forget to subscribe.